northwestern BC has been home to the First Nations for thousands of years. Their culture and their art are a window to the people. In Kitimat, I met Sammy Robinson, a highly respected artist and carver. Oh, Sammy, this is something else. A lot of people don't know it's here. Well, I'll never forget it. For Sammy, there is no separation between art and life. When I go to bed at night, it's here. You know? I wake up, it's there. You can't get it out of your mind. Has it always out. been like that? It's always been like that. And it, it's kind of tiring, but good, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the passion. The passion. I, I don't know what it is. When I see these totem poles, it's like the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. I can't describe it to you, but it's just like an energy. Do you feel that when you're in, in their presence? To me, when I see them in their almost a completed state, it's just like they're resting, waiting to be brought alive when they stand up. Because uh, in essence, that's what they're doing is they're taking that log and giving it new Bringing life. Bringing it to life. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you feel uh, when you're carving. Uh, I like the, the challenge. I uh, study a lot of old pieces, and then I go out and I challenge myself to to, to bring it to the, to the fine art of the, the, the old masters. Do you feel like you're honoring the people that were here before? Oh, all the time, all the time. The, that is our people, that's who we are. If we could explain our art to other people, everybody would understand our people. So if we understand the art, we understand the people. Oh yeah. You're the first person that's told me that. The art. The people, the land, are forever intertwined here in Northwestern BC.